morning. Good morning. I'm sure glad to be home and really happy to be here. I want to introduce my daughter, Amy Slaughter, uh, and her two children, boys. Those boys are going to be the best suffragettes you'll ever see. <laughs> Have to be this one as their mother uh, was before them. Uh, I remember all the parades and everything that we ever did. My three daughters and my husband, Bob, who is right here, uh, were always with me on that. And I appreciate your support this morning. And I thank Deborah and Dawn and the Susan B. Anthony House and the Neighborhood Association for your commitment to promote the legacy of Susan B. Anthony and the long struggle for women's rights. Every year, Congress is called upon to, divide, uh, to define the nation's priorities. And I'm happy that all of you are here this morning to remind us that equality is the backbone of our country and our Constitution. This month, as we all know, marks the 90th anniversary of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution granting women the right to vote. The call for women's rights rang out over 160 years ago in Seneca Falls, New York. This groundbreaking convention was dedicated to the key principle in the Declaration of Independence that we are all created equal. And that is very important. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony led this fight for equality in the community of Rochester, and this park we stand in is a part of history. Where Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass once met to discuss the shared commitment to human rights. And that statue, I think, is one of the most important things we've seen. After 72 years of eloquent and passionate advocacy, the United States finally ratified the 19th Amendment. But sadly, Susan B. Anthony. Women today make up only 17% of the 111th Congress. 17 women in the Senate, 75 women in the House of Representatives. That doesn't speak too well for the majority of the population, does it? As Elizabeth Cady Stanton once said, the history of the past is but one struggle to equality. I thank you in this neighborhood and those of you who keep the house to remind us of the legacy of these pioneers in human rights their impassioned quest for equality, their devotion to human rights, and their belief that persistence will pay dividends. And they certainly understood that. Susan B. Anthony said, failure is impossible, and she is right. We must not fail. Our children deserve it. Their future and ours need it. And I thank
thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here on this great day. Thank you.